Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. I'll be teaching you how to manage text files. And in this case, we are going to be looking at uh, extracting data from a text file and ordering it in descending order. For example, pupils scores or marks or points taken from a video game and showing the top scorers. Now our text file has the following records. Now let's say someone was recording data about people's uh, students scores or something like that okay and you want to show the top uh, students we want to start from the top student to the one who got the lowest marks now as you can see this data is not in order okay but i want this result here i want it to be displayed like this okay but for example when you are playing a game an online game and they show you the top scorers you know those who are you know the best starting with the best one okay so i want my list or the content in my text file to be displayed like this now text files are not as easy as the sql databases or sql or mysql okay so starting so i'll say uh define my um Oh, hang on a second. That's what I forgot. Uh, define my scorers. Okay. So, first of all, we are going to um, open the text file. Okay, open there. So, then we're going to say file equals open. Now, the name of the text file is textfile.txt. Okay. Uh, put that in speech marks text. and we want it to be readable so we write the R here okay so you can read it we're gonna create two lists and one array so I'm gonna call them arrays each okay I can say array one okay the first array then the second one okay two as you can see it changes color because array is a preserved word in python so you can't use that as a variable and then array three they are equal to so array one is going to be empty it will exist it's uh it's by it's going to be empty then the next list is also going to be empty and then we have a data dictionary rather i meant data dictionary at the start okay so that's what we have now we're gonna assign it to a variable named as lines so let me first close that a variable named as lines okay that there so how do we do that come on lines okay so we say lines which are the lines of files okay in our text file lines equals file dot read lines now this function is going to allow your program to read all lines in the text file okay not just one if you say read line then it's only going to read one now we're ready now to use our for loop okay for as long as this variable x is within okay as long as that's happening we're gonna now create some fields here we're gonna say fields equals x dot split now i'll explain what that means in a minute okay now we need to split these lines because remember our text file will be showing our text file will be showing um you see it's showing the mark and then comma and then the name the mark it shows the mark and the name as you can see mark and the name now we need to separate this each line okay we read a line read through a line okay we're gonna say the line is gonna be equal to x but we need to separate these two because we're gonna deal with them um individually okay so that's why we say fields equals x dot split i forgot that split okay the ones extracted from um the this text file it's gonna separate the numbers from the corresponding names 
but then after separating them we need to put them somewhere okay so we need to say array one dot append append will keep populating we could keep adding yeah it, it's gonna keep adding every time it gets a field it's gonna add it to the array one because remember it's empty at the moment okay so now while it's looping through all these lines for example if it reads this line okay it's gonna get array one and assign it to this value then array two is gonna have this value array three is the one that we will see later on but for now array one dot append so we're gonna make them integers because when we get them from the text file they are read as string type and then array two dot append so you need fields uh, fields and then we need the second part okay first part and the second part so um, array one is fields because remember when it's reading through uh, the string it's gonna start at position zero and then position one okay position zero is the number position one is the um, the name uh, name equals fields so we need that position one which is the name dot replace now when it's reading through your list remember your list has the new line another line another line a new line in python is is written as for backslash n so when it's displaying your array it's gonna show sita then backslash n and for us to do that we'll uh, we replace it with nothing okay so the backslash n this one comma is replaced with nothing array three so remember this is an integer okay int fields and then that's equal to name we are now going to reverse we're now going to sort the contents in array one because remember array one now has um it has a it has numbers only okay because we extracted only the numbers so array one we're gonna say array one uh, dot sort okay i'm gonna say reverse equals true because they're gonna be in descending order in reverse means re descending order for as long as x is now in array one so we're gonna read through the contents in array one in order of highest to lowest okay so let me just put um hashtag there just so we remember from there okay so for x in array one okay we're gonna say values equals on, equals array oops array array three dot get we're going to find okay uh let's call that values okay values equals array three dot get we are going to look for we'll find the values in this array called array three dictionaries are written like this um array three and then you have something like that and then you have the um let's say number one is gonna be equal to uh let's say hello okay so if you say um array three dot get um one if you put one here it's gonna display the value hello say print uh, we're gonna print but we need to start with a new line to print we need to start with a new line it's okay okay so print new line because remember it's, it's in a loop it's reading through array one print put a new line there type the value x and then remember x is now the number okay so x then also after doing that we're gonna put our equals sign let's uh, try and make one there okay and then we're gonna display the values okay and now we need to close our file file dot close okay like that right so just for a recap we've declared our arrays here okay uh we have the all empty uh the actually array three is a array three is a dictionary okay it's a dictionary so these lists are all empty okay and now 
we are getting a variable here and we're saying it's equal to file.readlines which means file.readlines is gonna ask the program to read through the opened file the, the text file that's been opened it's gonna read these lines here one by one up to line five whilst it's doing that we're gonna say each line is equal to i mean x is equal to the value of each line the content on on each line x is equal to the content of each line so which means x will be equal to that line and then after doing whatever it does and it goes back to the loop then now x is going to be equal to that line like that so first time it reads the loop x is equal to 101 comma theta so but what do we do to the x 101 comma theta because x is 101 comma theta okay we split it where we find the comma we split okay which means we are separating them based on where we find where the comma is okay if the comma is here like that that means 10 will be separate from one theta okay so after splitting them now we have two values so we're going to assign one value to array one and the other one value to array two and remember this happens every time the loop runs every time every time right until you reach the final line here so array array one will have the numbers but in this case they're not yet numbers they are strings so you have to convert them into a number which means array one dot append which means we're gonna get this array one that's empty starting off being empty we're gonna add in the value of one zero one because it's the first line that we're reading through. 101 will be array one, and it's been converted to an integer. I've, you know, you can, you could probably do it when you're using list sometimes, but in this case, it's easier if you are trying to sort numbers, okay? You're trying to sort your numbers. Array two dot append fields one. Now fields, remember, is holding two values so the first value which is at position zero is the number so now the name is now added to array two which was empty before after that now we're gonna get the dictionary which is array three and we are going to um assign it values okay we're gonna say that this key here the dictionary id or key some people call it key or id is gonna belong to or, or is gonna have a value of hello but in this case one zero one okay we had we have a value of theta 101 will have theta so array 3 which was empty we're now going to keep adding values to it we start with the first line value of the first line which is uh which is um so you can't write array 1 here okay because remember it's not a it's not um it's a list yeah you can't just keep uh, put a list into a dictionary and then say its, it's value is name no so you get the actual field here the actual part of the field here you put it there and you say it's equal to its value is name okay name here and then we say array one dot sort reverse equals true and for as long as x in array one values equals array three dot get after getting those values now we're ready to print because we know what x is okay x is the number here x is the number um because it's reading through array one yeah so it's reading one by one one by one up to the end x is got by then the values then we close it and now we call for the uh the function which is my scorers okay i'm gonna copy it there uh-huh and now we're ready i'm gonna play it and then you see that we have this if, even if I go back there, I still I'm still at the top. Yeah. So that's how you do it. That's how you manage data using text files and showing values in descending order. Thank you.